Hi everybody, it's just me, LTM. I have been blessed with another package. <laughs> this has really made my day today to get a message from our postal service to say that I have another package ready to collect. So I have collected it on my way home and indeedy, indeedy, it is from Hobby. Hobby, if that's how you say it. And ergo, it is yarn. So here is another unbagging of a yarn haul. Come and have a look what I got. I can't wait to open this one. So here is my package and yes, it is from Hobby. Yay. So let's have a look at what yarn goodness hides inside this bag. Of course, I do know what's in there, but it's always exciting to receive it and open up and see it in the flesh. Often looks a bit different than it looks on the website. So let's hop into this. And here we go. What's in there first? Ah, this is a thing I bought with points from Hobby. It is wool wash. And um, it's a jasmine scented wool wash. Thought I would give that a go. I had some points. Ooh, and look at this. Isn't that magnificent? I think I was um, tuned in. The reason why I tuned into this yarn on the hobby website is because of the sparkle that I'm currently using to make a shawl for my mum, which is just plain white with a silver sparkle. And when I saw this, this really caught my eye. The colour is number one. I don't remember what they actually called it. Might be on the invoice when I have a look further in there. But this is from Hobby. It is mostly acrylic, as you can see, and it is from their Universe range. So, man, that looks so good. Another one of the same. And then this is luscious. Oh my God, look at that. The colors on the camera just don't seem to quite reflect how intense and luscious these colors really are. This blue is a lot deeper than it is showing on the camera. And, uh, and there's some gorgeous deep, deep purple in here that is just beautiful with a blue sparkle in it. Oh, gorgeous. Also from the Universe range, as you can see. And yes, I bought two balls of this, two skeins of this. And once again, I've been, I was really good. I actually looked up patterns and I have patterns pre-planned for this yarn. That is not at all like me. I'm sure quite a lot of you also suffer from seeing a beautiful, beautiful yarn, can't resist it, so you buy it even though you don't have a project in mind. And then later on when you go to use it, struggle to find a project that will use the number of skeins that you actually purchased. That's usually me. That's what I usually do. But this time I looked at patterns first, saw the yarn, went and looked at patterns so I knew how many balls of the yarn to purchase so that I could finish projects with it. So let's have a look at what else is in here. Oh, there's more yarn. I'm feeling more yarn. Okay, third ball of that universe, perhaps a fourth ball. Yes, a fourth ball in that same universe. Mom, I wish you could see this in real life. That is just beautiful and it feels quite soft too. Uh, surprisingly, even with the sparkle that I'm using at the moment, the fact that it has this metallic sparkle through it, it's not scratchy at all. So you don't need to worry about that. Another thing that I've purchased potentially uh, with points from Hobby. So when you make purchases from Hobby, you get points. It's like a reward system. And so these are some labels that say handmade to put into items once I have made them. So they're really nice. It's 
the invoice and then we have a needle holder if you watched my unbagging that I did of my Nip Pearl Sew purchases that I made recently I bought some yarn needles and when I was on the hobby site I saw they had these yarn needle holders so or well, needle holders so I thought yes I will get one of those and I can pop my yarn needles in there and hopefully minimize how many of them that I lose over time <laughs> And oh, Hobby do have a habit of sending sweets. Oh, camera's having trouble. There we go. Sending little sweets with your order. Unfortunately, they're cherry flavoured and I don't like cherry flavour. So I'll give that to my daughter when I see her next. And that is everything in the bag. So just confirming... Uh, I believe this one is called Outer Space and this one, the colourway, is called Andromeda. So there you go. That is my purchases from Hobby. I'm really happy with all of those. I do have specific projects planned for these which I've already obtained the patterns for. So I will pop up pictures of those. Uh, one project for these and one project for this so yummy yummy yarn and it was on special so that's what I purchased from hobby my stash is getting bigger and bigger <laughs> but I have projects planned for this yarn so it's not just wanton purchasing of yarn with no plan which is as I said what I usually end up doing and I know lots of other people do that too are you a planner do you only buy yarn that you have a planned project for do you usually have a pattern in mind before you purchase yarn or are you a tragic a yarn tragic like me see something beautiful and just have to buy it and if you do that how many balls do you usually buy how do you work out how many balls of that beautiful squishy yarn that you have no idea what you're going to use for how many balls do you buy and how do you do you have a way of working out how many balls to buy i'm curious tell me in the comments below and until i see you next time it's bye for now see ya